by this great woman of God celebrating the life of our missionary Rashida Shah Belcher. Come on, let's honor God for her today. Hallelujah! Now, if you're here for a funeral, you have to go down to church. children and to all of the aunts, nieces, grandmothers, everybody, amen, family and friends that come so far and near to come to be a part of this service, amen, to God. And I want us to have a good time, is that all right? Amen. I've come to enjoy Jesus, how about you? God says to be absent in the body, just to be ever present with the Lord. And I have this hope again that I will see her again. God's able. Come here, God's able. Amen. Today's going to be one of those days we're going to laugh a little bit, we're going to cry a little bit, we're going to dance a little bit. Come on, we're going to holler a little bit, we're going to cry some more. Amen. Whatever you have to do to get through that, that's what you do. Amen. 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 Amen.
He restored my soul. He leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen.
grab a hand beside you. How many believe in the power of prayer? How many believe in the power of prophecy? Let us not just ask. Let us prophesy. Father, in the name of Jesus, dear God, we thank you and we honor you. God, we thank you, God, for the apostolic roots that runs deep in this church. Father God, we thank you, God, for the apostolic legacy. God, we thank you, Father God, for family and friends that are gathered here today. God, we pray, Father God, for comfort. God, we know, God, that you do all things well. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. And we thank you for that perfect gift. We thank you for your son. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. Amen. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, God, that we don't have to pray for the Holy Ghost to fall. But we thank you, God, for believers here, for baptized believers, for kingdom-filled believers. We thank you, Father God, for the power of Pentecost. And we pray, Father God, that the power of God will fall. Father God, saturate this place. Saturate this atmosphere. God, we thank you, Father God, for the pastor. We thank you, God, for the overseer. God, that have labored well in this vineyard. And God, we pray right now. Yeah. 
I just begin to worship God and just thank Him for His goodness. Because He will do it. He will do it. I just want you to know He will do it. You just got to believe it. You just got to know it. That He will do it.
pray our Lord that you don't need. I just want to ask you another question. Has God showed you an exit? And he delivered. Amen. He will deliver on time. Thank God for the service up until this present time. How many of you enjoying yourself? Amen. So now I want to just pause right here. Amen. I got excited at the beginning, but I want to certainly reverence, amen, the pastor of this church. Amen. We honor Church, 
offer their love, thoughts, prayers, and sincere condolences to the family and loved ones of our dearly beloved sister and friend. <coughs> Your sorrow is truly our sorrow. Your loss and pain, ours. And whereas our cherished missionary shared the fruits of her labor and service and shared as well a bright, steady spirit and a cheerful heart, and whereas our precious Rashida embraced the all-forgiving, redemptive power and presence of God from her earliest days and strove daily to exhibit the, those same qualities of love and compassion throughout her life, and whereas missionary Rashida performed her work on this earth and offered her service to this church for the greater honor and glory of God, unreservedly and in the spirit of humility. And now therefore, be it resolved that we embrace this bereaved family in our common bond of grief and remembrance of a beloved soul as we bow to a greater will than our own and rest in the knowledge that one day we will be united with Rashida Sharp Belcher again in joy and in the fullness of God's grace and mercy. Therefore, also be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be kept as a testimony and a remembrance of our esteemed missionary and her devotion and dedication to the work and, the, and ministry of Greater St. Stephen's Church of Christ be at peace in the everlasting love of the Lord, humbly submitted and archived on this 28th day of December, in the year of our Lord, 2019, on behalf of the overseer, pastor, trustees, <coughs> deacons, ministers, missionaries, and members of Greater St. Stephen's Church, 2108 Rosewood Avenue, Rocky Mount, North Carolina. The obituary. Missionary Rashida Iman Shaw Belcher, age 41, passed away on Wednesday, December 18th, 2019, at Nash UNC Healthcare. She was born October 28, 1978. Rashida Iman Sharp Belcher was born in Newark, New Jersey, and was a faithful and active member of Greater St. Stephen's Church of Christ. She also had some college education at Edgecombe Community College of Tarboro. Rashida's last employment was with Citrulli of Tarboro, North Carolina. She loved cooking for her family and serving her pastor and overseer in church. When you think of Rashida, you think of a protector, a caregiver, the family chef, and most of all, a loving mother and wife. Rashida was preceded in death by her mother, Joanne Hardy Dunn, and her brother, Carl Kerchief Charles III. Rashida leads to cherish her memory, her husband, Ryan J. Belcher, two sons, Kalia J. Sharp, Keelan J. Sharp, and Ryan J. Belcher, Jr. One daughter, Kanaya J. Sharp, stepdaughters, Kayla Downing, and Taylor Belcher. Her father, Carl Sharp, two sisters, Latanya Sharp Shaw Dwight, Naftali Deanne Sharp, Two very special godmothers that she loved dearly, Amy Davis, Leonard, Carolyn Slade, Ronnie. <coughs> Two grandchildren, Keziah Downing and Asani Arnold, and a host of uncles, aunts, nieces, nephews, and other loving relatives and friends. Thank you. At this time, we're going to have remarks. Um, we're going to ask you to please limit um, your remarks to two minutes, please. So anyone at this time wish you to have something to say, add to my father there. At this time, anybody you want to have something to say, you can say it at this time. I just want to appreciate you all coming out, uh, sharing the celebration of 
my sister, cousin, slash sometimes mama. <laughs> um, this has been a hard time for the family and friends. Rashida was known always as someone that we could always go to, like, man, that Sunday meal is going to be good. Like, man, I'm ready for it. Uh, and I would just go over there and spend time with the family. They'd be watching football games, and she'd just be cooking Mississippi pot roast. I said, man, what is a Mississippi pot roast? And we in North Carolina. She said, you'll taste it soon. And I'd just sit there and just wait for the, the entree, the desserts. And man, I ended up falling asleep. She's like, hey, man. The kids ain't quite waiting for you to go take them home. You gotta go. <laughs> it's time for you to go. You gotta go to work more. I said, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. I'll be back next Sunday. And I just wanted to get up here and just say, she's gonna always be in my heart. She always thought she was my mom, but I told her she won't. <laughs> and I just want to appreciate y'all for coming out. Share the celebration for her. Thank you. No one else? I don't know who won. Well, I ask all of our preachers to stand, male and female, wherever you are. Just stand right where you are so we can just recognize you. Amen. You're a preacher. This is your time to stand. <laughs> Amen. Ask the family to please look around so you can see all of these preachers, uh, male and female preachers, to let you know that we're praying for you and praying for the children. Amen. For the family. All right. <laughs> Amen. At this time, um, we don't have words of comfort. Amen. I have for two minutes from. Um, Pastor Shaw, amen, at this time, and then I have reflection by Bishop Lady and Bishop Smith, and I ask you to please come in that order. Thank you, Bishop. Praise the Lord, everybody, and uh, by the grace of God, we're doing all right, is that right? Yeah. Well, first of all, I acknowledge the shepherd and visionary of this house, the bishops, the apostles, all that hold the title of an office, be it in the clergy or the ministry or leadership. And to my bereaved brothers and sisters and nieces and nephews and cousins and all close friends, you have my condolence um, on behalf of myself and my wife and my sons and my new life family by our church at New York, New Jersey. We offer our deepest condolence and we will continue to hold you in our prayers. My wife and I thank God for getting us here safely. Last yesterday, we had a safe, good flight and landing. I didn't want to miss my first niece home going. She's the third oldest one. And I said, I'm going to come. And I don't care what it costs, but by the grace of God, we was able to come. Amen. So I'd like to take the time to just tell this little story and I'm going to take my seat. There's a man who had four children. He lay dying. So he called all four to his bed, and he hugged all of them, and he began to say to the first one named Randy, good night, I'll see you in the morning. Third one was named, second one was named Ruth, good night, I'll see you in the morning. Third one was named what? Sammy, told him the same thing. When he got to the fourth child, he said goodbye. Jim. Jim said, wait a minute. You said good night to all of these, but you said goodbye to me. He said, the problem is, why well, I had to say goodbye to you? Because you reject Jesus Christ and he's the only way of salvation that was seeing each other again. So that's why I had to tell you goodbye. Those he said goodnight to accepted the Lord and Savior knowing that they shall meet in glory. 
and look for a resurrection morning when we all shall rise. Dead in Christ shall rise first. And those of us that remain in our lives for shall ever be with the Lord. So I want to ask some of you today before I take my seat, overseer, bishop, pastor, please forgive me. Which is it going to be for you? Will it be good night, I'll see you in the morning? Or will it be goodbye forever? You must make your decision now while there's breath in your body. Before it's too late. Last time I want to say, I want to say this, last time I saw Rashida, she was having this shower. Um, when you come to church, I'll come the next time I come. Well, here I am. But I'm saying goodbye. Love you. See you in the morning. Get your rest. God bless. God bless you all. Thank you. Bless you, sir. We thank the Lord for the elders, pastors, overseers, all the ministers in the house. Amen. We are here today for the home home service of Rashida Belcher. Amen. She was her name was Rashida Shop. She was a member of Salvation Deliverance Church, probably about five or six years. Amen. As a teenager, amen. But she was full of life. She was the life of the party. She was in the house. You knew she was in She was like me. You couldn't be us talking. Amen. So she, we just like told you. Amen. But she was full of life and her and Nicole joined the church. Amen. And they were real loving children. They Love the pastor. They respected you, amen. They knew that I didn't play, amen. But they always were respectful to you. And I've been knowing these guys, amen. I've been knowing folks here slaves, amen, for about 43 years, amen, a long time. So we go a long way, like we're like family, amen. And so today, my wife and I, we trying to figure out what could we say. I haven't been knowing within the last 15 to 20 years. Once they got out, got out of school, amen, they went on that different ways, amen, but we still remember the love that they showed, amen, when they were teenagers in the house of God, amen. Rashida, we went to see her in the hospital, amen, a week before she went home to be with the Lord. But amen, she hugged us and she told us, I love you. And we said, we love you too, dear. Amen. And we prayed for her. Amen. But she had lost a lot of weight. And we knew she was greatly ill from looking at her. Amen. But you never know what God will do. But God sent me to call her home at 41 years old. Not everyone's going to get to be 50. Not everyone's going to get to be 60 years old. Amen. You better get it fixed up today. You better get your life right today because no one had an idea that God was calling her home. I'm telling you, people are dying earlier than they used to die. A long time ago, all the old folks are dying, but now the young folks are dying evenly with the older people. But today it was a blessing to have known her Amen. Her sister, her mother. Amen. I never knew their father. Amen. But to know them was loving people. They would not disrespect you. Amen. Some folks last. Got last attitude. Y'all hear me? Some folks I don't decide to deal with, okay? You can deal with if you want to, but you next, I don't deal with you. Hi and goodbye. Amen. But we love you. We love you. Okay? We pray. That we have spoken a word of invitation. That we could bless the family with a word of exhortation. My wife and I, we love you. Be encouraged. God will fix it. He will strengthen you as you go from day to day. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. The Lord is good to us. Yeah. He is kind and took me to this family in my heart is extended to you in my thoughts and my prayers um, in the interest of time. 
I want to make a couple of observations about what this is. We are born again, baptized believers. And I got the call from Overseer Slade about Rashia. I said, ask her a question. I said, ask her, does she want to live? Or does she want to go home to be with the Lord? And regardless of the answer, it's still victory. <laughs> See, is death is at for us, we don't determine how victory comes. And we don't determine what victory looks like. Come on here. We can only give victory the proper response. This is not death. This is victory. As a born again baptized believer, you can't determine the outcome of what victory looks like. How in the world are we saved? We're saved through the death. We, we got saved because somebody died. Don't determine how and you don't determine when because victory has its own timeline. Victory is not relegated to when you think it ought to come. It shows up at the right time. And when victory shows up, the only response that you can give to God is to clap your hands, is to open up your mouth, and tell the Lord, thank you for the
born of God, Rashida, amen. Certainly, I've been coming to the greatest living, I mean, I keep saying my church, the greatest Sunday students for a long time. And many of these young ladies around here, they were little girls shouting and jumping. And I would sit on the pulpit and say, Lord, I want it to get the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I would come and run revivals down here and they would the Chris A Steve was known for dance anyway. All night long. Even in the country. All night long. All night long. They shout for hours. I came from New York City. Nobody had a church on the New York East Coast. But when I met overseer Cameron Slade and them down in the country, that music would be flowing in the top of the land. And I was reminded of that. I used to go back to New York and say, Lord, I. This is a country church. These <laughs> people had them on, I mean, they were fat. <laughs> I used to see Lois and them shouting.
<laughs> they'll get in trouble for, you know, whatever, just various things, but they get in trouble and they just sit on the front row. But um, one day she called me while she wasn't saved at the time. Um, and she said, can you do praises what I do for me? Just leave it on my voicemail. I'm not going to answer. So that's the reason why um, I was going to sing that today. However, uh, he said, I think we're gonna, we should do a song, Praises What I Do. So that was confirmation that that needed to have been saying today. So uh, our choir was not available, but I saw so many of them here. So I said, listen, y'all better come up here because I cannot do this by myself. So they're going to come and help me do this song. It's a churchy song. So I'm not going to do anything melodic like he used to be doing. But it, um, I just want you to clap your hands with me. All right. And I had this strange imagination that I was going to see like a whole bunch of Eric Stevens um, lined up, you know, praising God together. So maybe that'll happen before we leave. Uh, okay. So I'm, I, I, we got to see that. All right. Hey, man, come help me sing. Hey, the song says, He that believeth. St. Stephen's had some rhythm back in the day, so if you're from St. Stephen's Pine Top, I need you clapping your hands, all right?
Father, we honor the Lord everything that has been said and done. Amen. Amen. We thank God for this woman of God. Yes. She was indeed a gift to the body of Christ and yes. Christ to me. I question, I said, Lord, how am I going to do this? Not but as we were praising God, as we were praising God, and I got a little overwhelmed. Um, it was my first time seeing this was today. I didn't know yesterday. I just, you know what you can take or what I can take. Amen. I knew I could not take that yesterday. Amen. So I kept myself busy. <laughs> kept myself busy. Amen. But to see this today, Amen. For the very first time, I got old well. And as my mother and Lena told me, she said, Son, don't you let nobody tell you not to cry. That's right. That's right. So don't come to me telling me not to cry. That's right. Amen. Because, amen. If Jesus wept, why can't I? Amen. The Bible says that he wept until he could weep no more. Amen. But I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Amen. That the, amen. As Bishop said, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. This is a hard pill to swallow here at Greater St. Stephen. Amen. I'm just so used to Elder Westry, this woman of God, serving me, sitting right over there. Yes. Amen. Yes. Serving me. Don't y'all laugh, but serving me. And I, I'm a hard sweater, but I'm not that hard. She would go through at least 10 towels a Sunday. <laughs> She would change them out on the hour, on the hour. Amen. And I'm going to miss her. Amen. So I need God to raise somebody up very quickly. Amen. Because the sweat is going. Amen. At the end, you said you're going to take the torch. So, amen. Uh, let's thank God, amen, for this family. Come on. Let's thank God for the family. Thank God for my husband. Come on. Thank God. Amen. I believe that God has gathered us here for a reason. Yeah. Amen. And I believe that, amen, that even in this, as she said to me, she said, Bishop, and she can only call me between her and Aunt Sheila. Um, she said, Bishop, um, either way, it's still victory. Yeah. I was praying, actually. I was praying, and as I was praying, I'm going into the Word. Give me 10 or 15 minutes. I promise you, we're going to shout and get out of here. But I was praying, Apostle Man, and as I was praying, I was praying, Lord, heal her body. Lord, hold her here. Lord, do what only you can. Lord, I mean, I, I, I told the prayer team, I need y'all to pray. But it wasn't until about 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning because Lord, the Lord spoke to me. He said, change your prayer. Posture. He said, and stop asking me to heal her and ask me to let my will be done. Yeah. 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 I do apologize. Thank God for all of the leaders and those are all leaders that stand behind me and my leader, Old Sis Pastor Matthew Tillery, amen. So good to have you. Amen. Oh, Bishop Smith and Bishop Brown. Amen. Who I love. Amen. Y'all know this is this is the woman of God. I was hoping she was gonna get the mic. Amen. But thank God for her and Pastor Sharp. But as God began to speak to me, he said, Demetrius, change your posture of talking. He says, Pray that my will be done. Amen. It wasn't until we were in church and GSS, I need y'all to help me this morning, this afternoon. Wasn't until church missionary stallings that God spoke to me. And he said, put the church on a fast. Yeah. Yeah. He said, we are to fast all week. Yeah. We can't have anything but water. Yeah. He said, from 6 a.m. to 12, man, you can't have a peppermint. You can't have nothing. All you can do is brush your teeth and start your day. Yeah. He said, my God, I shall die yet. And you got to understand that sometimes God won't just speak it to the leader, but he'll speak it to the person who don't even have a title. Yeah. 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 Until I'm on the end, that we were getting ready to fast because we were believing God that God was getting ready to turn it around. But it wasn't until my sister, my baby sister, called me and she said to me, she said, Me, God didn't put us on a fast. Right? God reminded for God to heal her. He put us on a fast for us to prepare us for this. 
Jesus. Say, God. I said, well, what am I going to do as a nurse? How am I, how am I going 
don't go home without a nurse. She said, Pastor, whatever you do, you can't quit. She said, preach. She said, wipe tears while you're preaching, but you got to keep going. I said, the end turned around and said, I ain't ready for that. I ain't ready for that. I ain't, I ain't ready for all of that. Let's just get the morning, Lord. Just give me the Bethel so we can do this. And for some odd reason, she went back into it. Not only she was preparing us, but was in the car. And I shared it over said, over said, said, you know, you had this conversation. You had something that we didn't have. She says, she said, Pastor, I want you to preach until time you back. She said, I want you to wrap back. I want you to do what you do. I said, well, listen, I don't know if I'm going to do all that because I'll be too crying and snot and all that. She said, well, you listen, you either going to do it, I'm going to pay you a visit. I said, trust me, I'm going to preach. I'm going to preach, so let's get into the word of God. And I don't need no heavenly business. Amen. Genesis 32. Because of the sake of time, I'm going to get straight into the word of God. Genesis 32 in chapter 26. Do you have it? Yeah. And the word of God reads, the 26th verse, and the word of God reads, Genesis 32, 26, and he said, let me go. For the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. I will not let thee go except thou bless me. I just want to move, amen, you for amen, a topic this afternoon. Father, thank you for the word. Have you behind the cross. But it's all said and done. We promise to give you praise the whole life. In Jesus' name, I feel God. It wasn't until, used for a topic very quickly, Bishop Brown, it wasn't until June, um, June the 3rd, 2018, for five praises that are catching this. Bishop Smith, it wasn't until she texted me and she said, we were in the process of getting the church established with um, positions, and she said, do you still need a nurse? This was back in June the 3rd of 2018. She said, do you still need a nurse? And I said, she said, I'll volunteer. I said, yes, I do. Um, I said, I'll get with you um, with all that you need to do. She texted me back, and I went back up in it, trying to, and praying for a topic concerning this sermon. And I'm saying to myself, but where would you allow me to go? Candace, I flipped back on what she texted me. She inboxed me, and she said, at 157, overseer, I'm going to preach what she said to me. I believe I'm going to let her preach her own funeral today. She said, okay. She said, Pastor, there are a few things that I need to tell you before uh, I start this assignment. She said, Pastor, I'm clean. I'm sober. I'm refilled. And I'm ready to work. I'm going to preach today. I'm clean. Sober, refilled, and ready to work. Sober, refilled, and ready to serve. We understand here, Apostle. Oh man, we understand here the word of the Lord brings us a very interesting point. As I haste through here, the Bible talks about, amen, as Jacob started on his way, again, an angel of God came and met him. The Bible says that when Jacob saw this, he exclaimed to God, Amen. And he, amen, this is, amen, happened at God's camp. The Bible says that then Jacob sent a messenger ahead, amen, of his brother. The Bible says Esau. Somebody say Esau. Esau. Who was living in the region of, amen, the land. The Bible says that he told them, give this message to my master Esau. Humble greetings from your servant Jacob. Uh, the Bible says until now I have been living with a man uh, Laban. The Bible says that now I own the cattle, donkey flocks. Amen. Of sheep, goat, and many servants, yeah. both men and women. The Bible says that I have sent this message to inform uh, my Lord of my coming. The Bible says that hoping that 
amen, will uh, be friendly to me after, uh, somebody say after, after uh, delivering the message, the Bible said that the messenger returned to Jacob and reported, we, amen, met your brother Esau. He is already on his way to you. The Bible says with the army of 400 men, the Bible says that Jacob was terrified at this news. And he divided his household along with the flock and the herds of the cattle, amen, into two groups. The Bible says he, he thought, amen, if he saw meet the first group uh, and attack it, uh, perhaps the other group can escape. Uh, isn't it amazing how sometimes uh, we in the body of believers we're shouting but still don't believe God. They said but still don't trust God. The Bible said that then Jacob prayed. He prayed and he said oh God uh, my grandfather Abel, have the God of my father Isaac. Oh Lord my God Almighty you told me to return to your own land. Uh -huh. The Bible says, he said, he said, you have promised me. Yes. Promise me that I will retreat you kindly. I am not worthy. Anybody know that you're not unworthy of God's glory? I, I said, anybody know that you're not worthy of just even having his glory on the inside of you? I called them so many times. Uh, oh, I mean, man, and it come back to my remembrance that, amen, missionary, she would tell me, amen, and overseer, she said, I'm not worthy, amen, to carry the gospel. I'm not, I'm not worthy to even serve you. See, I'm not worthy to even walk with you, Pastor. I said, you got to understand, people don't forgive you, but God does. People don't forget what you do, but God does. And I said, I'm going to love you. Amen. Oh, said, I had to open rebuke me. Because it was at the moment that she wanted to serve. But I, I didn't feel like she was worthy enough to do it. I said, she got this going on, and she got that going on, and that is going on. And oh, see, I love my leader. Nothing. Huh? She said to me, she said, at that time I was just an elder and we just family talking to family. Huh? 
Hallelujah. She said, Be up to the lowest that I can get. I said, That's right where God wants you. Because sometimes He'll knock you all the way down so He can build you up in front of the people that try to destroy you.
if nobody else praised, I knew that she was going to get All right, come on. Yes. I knew that she was going to praise God. I don't have but I don't have I don't even have no time. I'm out. But I need to take at least 60 seconds. That's all I need. Okay, you can't do more tissue. Do what you have to Because you gotta understand the only way we're gonna get through this is we're gonna have to praise you. The only way that we're gonna get through this. We're gonna dance in literally a few minutes just a second. But I promise you tomorrow we're gonna pick this up. Right. I can't see her sitting over there no more. But every time I gather, it'll remind me that when I want to family, when you want to stop, children's husband, all of y'all, family, nieces, aunts, cousins, when you want to give up, just remember she was at her lowest and she bounced back. She said to me one time, she said, Pastor, and I appreciate her. Name. She said, I'm back, but I'm back from a nasty fall. She said, but I am back. I came to tell about 50 of you all. I need you to look at somebody and tell them, I'm back from a nasty fall. Do follow the direction of the staff that we can do this traditionally 
as possible. And please try to refrain from greeting the family. And I would have them just final moments to themselves because we do have to be to the cemetery at a designated time. And one thing I want to say about Rashida, we will miss her, her lasagna, her fried chicken. Amen. I met her a few years ago through Brother Jeremy, and then we had some great times at her house down on Highway 43. But I think her life is a testament. It's not how you start, but it's how you finish.
Man, y'all. All right, how about you? At this time, we all come around and look closely, give our attention to Bishop Smith for the committal and the benediction. For as much as it is pleased Almighty God and His wise providence to take out of this world unto Himself the soul of our deceased sister, Rashida, we therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes and dust to dust. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord, and henceforth saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works to follow them. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give your name glory and we give your name honor for life. You're the giver of life. You gave us Rashida. And in this moment, we release her back into your arms, that you will watch over her and protect her. The remains that are in the ground, Father, give her peace. Give her rest from her labor and give her the reward that is only coming from you. We thank you for her life. We thank you for her impact. And we pray, Father, that now she rests with you. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. Our sources thank God. And family and friends, just before the benediction and before returning to your cars, we say thank you to all clergy for your leadership and all you've done and said to make this time just a little bit easier for the family. And once again, to the family, there's anything we can do as HD Pope Funeral Home to make your time of healing or transition just a little bit easier, feel free to reach out for you know your family is a part of our family. Now for the benediction. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Family and friends, this now concludes the services for missionary Rashida Sharp Belcher. You may now return to your cars. Thank you.
see if the family was staying. You may never return to your transportation. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 